Yeah, Ryan Amox was on one side of Memorial Hermann Hospital here while his three year old son was on the other. Little Ezra was released tonight, but Ryan remains father and son seriously injured by a driver who just kept going. Three year old Ezra Amox managed to smile even as he lay in his hospital bed with a broken rib, bruised liver, and road rash. His father, with worse injuries, always focused on his son. Laying on the ground over there and seeing him and not being able to get up and, you know, help him out was, you know, that, that was the worst part about the whole thing. Ryan Amox and Ezra were crossing Lakewood Forest Drive Saturday night in front of their apartment complex near Cypress to go to a restaurant. Ezra was on his dad's shoulders. A car whipped around the corner and hit them. The little boy went flying. Ryan ended up with two broken legs. Both were airlifted to the hospital where Ryan remains tonight. I never thought that would happen on that little road. The father spoke to us from his hospital bed. It's going to be quite a while before I'm back on my feet. It's going to be at least three months, he says, before he can use his right leg. His left leg has a rod in it. He's had surgeries and has more to go. His family and friends, like Justin Nix, are rallying around father and son. And if his son had been not on his shoulders, he would have died. Supporting them in their recovery, but also hoping someone is held accountable. The Harris County Sheriff's Office tracked down the car that hit them and detained three people Saturday night, officials said, but no one had been charged. He's going to be taken care of. He's going to be positive. It's going to take a while for him to get back on his feet, but there's got to be some kind of justice. Sir. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.